Hi there, and welcome to episode 35 of the ADHD Adult UK podcast series. The, the what? The oh, 35 episodes. I've got the name <laughs> wrong, haven't I? You, ADHD, did you write, did you, did, you, did you write this script? It's you, isn't it? You've done that. I don't think so. It's poss- very possible. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say know. it is anyway. Okay, sorry. We'll do that again. Hi there. Hi. And welcome to episode 35. You don't have to say hi when I say hi. Can you just <laughs> shut up, please? <laughs> hi there. And welcome to episode 35 of the ADHD Adults podcast. I'm, as usual, James Brown. Cock founder, Alex, it says. You did write this, didn't you? Cock founder. Co-founder of the charity ADHD Adult UK. And as usual, I'm joined by my fellow cock founder, Dr. Alex Reginald Connor. Alex, hi. Hey, boo. <sighs> Jesus fucking You hate Alice. it. <laughs> I just... No, I hate you, Alex. Not it. I mean, it's bad, but anyone else delivering it would... Whatever. How are you, Al? And just don't. I'm don't, tip don't, top. Don't, thank you, James. Don't do the thing uh, I know you're going to do. I've been sent a letter. Do oh, you, would know. you like to guess who it's from? Yes, it's from Robert it's from, from Kidderminster. <laughs> That's right, James. It's odd though. I say letter. It's just a picture of Boris Johnson on a zip wire. You know that? No, nope, I've got the picture upside down. It's just a picture of your hair. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks, Dad. I've got a real message. Can I read it out? No, it's anonymous because yet again we forgot to ask permission. Um, <laughs> it, it just says. I've been listening to all your podcasts on a loop since the last three days now. Cannot thank you enough on how useful I'm finding these. Just being able to name what I've been going through is immensely powerful. We love that. Thank you so much. We're still amazed at all these messages, aren't we? Yeah, I noticed that you cut off the third part of that message that probably said Alex is a bit of a bell end, but James, your stuff's really good. Oh, yeah, especially the thing about time blindness. I never knew that's what it was called. Is that what it says? It doesn't say anything about you. Well, I tell you what else is amazing, James. That yeah. We have listeners in more countries than you've got pubes. 105. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to say a very hearty konnichiwa to our Japan based listener. Hello and welcome. Yeah, well, well done. And you didn't, um, you didn't kind of get that wrong did you or, or offend that listener absolutely no idea hopefully not i apologize hopefully not. <clears throat> okay as usual this turd in a trifle podcast is a tragedy in, in three parts which is a theme last week we cack handedly talked about adhd and autistic spectrum disorder and autistic spectrum disorder traits and this week we're talking about a different element of adhd again it's something that people have asked us to talk about and it's very misunderstood it's a misunderstood coexisting conditional comorbidity and that's oppositional defiant disorder or odd as usual the three parts include alex's bit which is just fucking boring the, the psychoeducation yeah. but it, it's important just it should be delivered by somebody better mm, our yeah. personal reflections on odd and the third and final bit will be some pretty useless i'm sure um top tips so you you could call it things not to do about yeah. ODD. I'll, I'll be mine as well, though, so it's not all. <laughs> you wanker. So, Alex, everyone knows you like big words more than anything, so I guess um, it's up to you to tell us what ODD is, right? Although, you know, it'd be better if you just emailed it to us and fucked off. That's right, James. ODD stands for Oppositional Defiance Disorder. What Defiant. is it? Defiant. It's- it is defiant, yeah. I was just trying to see if right. What is it? It's a consistent pattern of angry, resentful, defiant, or vindictive behavior, James. <laughs> ADHD, as, ADHD, as we all know by now probably, is a neurological disorder. ODD actually is, is not. It's a description of behavioral problems in children. We're going to touch on the fact that in terms of diagnosis, this is not recognized in adults as a diagnosable disorder. But speaking as somebody with ADHD, I recognise it very muchly. Yes, indeed. Sorry, are we, are we letting muchly go? I, I'm, yeah. I'm, while I'm, while I'm on the you... fucking subject, actually, Alex, yeah. yeah, you remember a few episodes ago when I said a shed load and you mocked yeah. me mercilessly saying it's a not, shed it's load. Not. Yeah. You, you're wrong, mate. There's no, the amount... There is no definitive derivation of a shed load. There are three opinions, and that is one, that is 
the amount that would fill a shed. Fuck it's you. Not the am- Fuck you. There is one that it is yeah. the amount that would be shed from a lorry. And there's one that it's a bastardization of a shitload. So it could be any of the three. You're not right. I will get off my soapbox now and let you continue. Not the amount that goes into a shed, though, is it? It um, could anyway. be. Like, like everything about ADHD, it's never that simple. What, apart from you. ODD. <laughs> can rise from other disorders, many of which are more likely to exist or coexist in ADHD people. So again, it's hard to tell. Also, non-ADHD people, for want of a better word, are perfectly capable of having ODD behaviours as well. That's oppositional defiance disorder behaviours as well. And it can even stem from how we are treated growing up. Remember that when we talk about this, it's more than just emotional sensitive disorder. It's more than that. It's very possibly a manifestation of the same thing. It's a real feeling of the anger and resentment at the world all the time, every day. So so why are we talking about it then? Because I could be doing literally anything else, things that I enjoy. You know, I hate being with you. That's right, James, because it's so often reported from the adult ADHD community. Right. People either thinking back to their childhood or as an adult trying to deal with job and family life and having feelings of oppositional defiance. Some numbers, James, about 40% of ADHD children may have ODD behavior. For adults, it is said to go away or isn't diagnosable from the medical community. Or rather, that's that's not quite right. There, is a, there isn't a lot of evidence if ODD exists in adults. It's a funny one because diagnostically speaking, it doesn't have a clear adult counterpart as such. Many ADHD experts think it might, maybe it should have. What we do know is that if you had ODD as a child, you have a greater than 90% chance of having emotional problems as adults, including increased suicide risk and substance use disorders. Wow. Right. I spoke to a friend of mine who's a psychiatrist about this one because I was wondering if ODD should be diagnosed in adults. And the resp- I say friend. And the response <laughs> was, <laughs> it was really interesting. It was, no, it shouldn't. But it was a sensible, no, it shouldn't. Because actually, many children who have ODD go on to have instead other very serious problems and personality diagnoses beyond ODD when they're adults. So if the oppositional nature of ADHD either isn't causing damage to us, then arguably it doesn't need to be medicalized and therefore isn't. It is, in fact, just our personality, probably as part of a normal adult ADHD diagnosis. In the same way, we don't separate and diagnose every element of ADHD as a separate medicalization. So that's why it is controversial. So, of course, vindictiveness itself is a negative behavior, always. It's easy to see how it needs to be dealt with, but angriness and defiance are far less clear-cut, especially as adults. The Ukrainian president could be accused of being angry and defiant. Certainly isn't an inappropriate one, though. So that's the key. It comes down to appropriateness of the reaction. And that is both personal and cultural definition. I told you it's a bit controversial, James. Yeah. Can I just <clears throat> let people know what you've written in the script? But thankfully not read out. You explained in the script both what a psychiatrist and a friend is to me, didn't you, Alex? Can you remember <laughs> what those descriptions were? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. F- friend. So, so friend is a, a pe- like a pizza guy that comes to your house, but not to deliver pizza to you and they like you. You've yeah, like that, like when you're pizza guy. <laughs> but, you know, you don't pay them. You bastard. So what, you're, so what you're saying is, it isn't a problem? It's a bit weird? You know, I'm not saying that. In fact, it's a huge problem, oppositional mm-hmm. defiance. Um, verbally abusing people, impulsive, road rage, resentment, unfairly blaming others. When you know it's unfair, do it anyway. That was just your morning before we started this podcast today. <laughs> no, it, we all have these. And, oh, uh, sorry, a lot of us have a lot of these yeah. uh, issues. Okay, well, as usual, I'm feeling very oppositional towards you, uh, Alex. Um, yeah. And as usual, I'm getting pretty angry just listening to your ridiculous voice. So just for my mental health, it's time to take a break. And we will be back in part two for our personal reflections. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of episode so 35. Just, just can you, can, is there any chance you could try and keep the same distance away from your microphone? 
because you're doing all this leaning back and 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 everything. I know so I sometimes turn my head, but your audio is affected by this, Alex. I've got ADHD, you daft bastard. Uh, yeah, no, I know that, and I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> I love how you said it so kindly, and nicely, and I just, <laughs> just respond like that. <laughs> right, no, right, let's yeah. start again. Okay, welcome to episode thirty-five of the ADHD Adults Podcast. We are talking about <laughs> appropriately oppositional defiance disorder, defiance, uh, and defiance disorder. Thank you. Yes. Um. We need to say that we don't have ODD as it is a childhood diagnosis, but we can talk about the symptoms of mm-hmm. oppositional defiant. James, we're doing personal reflections. What are yours? Yeah. Um, it's, it, I've only really just noticed your background. For anyone that's not watching on YouTube, and please feel free to, to watch us on our YouTube channel. Alex <laughs> has put a picture of a still Derek. from Dancing in the Street by Derek Bowie and um, Mick Jagger, which is the only... Derek Bowie song I don't like and he that's the fucking reason that he's done it isn't it he, he does yeah, these yeah. things to, he specifically does these things to wind me up don't you although I, to be fair I thought it was Harry Styles kissing Deirdre Barlow <laughs> you know I'm, I'm amazed you know, oh you've got kids that's probably you know Harry Styles and because you don't have those any cultural no. reference points after 1720 okay no. so my, my personal reflections of ODD <clears throat> so yeah, it is, a, as you said, a childhood diagnosis. I don't think I was oppositional or, or defiant. I was certainly inappropriately, I, I didn't show inappropriate outbursts of, of anger or vindictiveness as, as a child. As an adult, you mentioned road rage. That's a really big one for me. And it's the only, it's really the only situation where I absolutely inappropriately lose my shit. So I remember once a guy um, cut me up and I raced past me and... and and, and pulled in front of me in a BMW Cabriolet. So I beeped and gave him the finger and screamed, ah, yeah, fuck you, and then overtook him. And he then followed me for 30 miles. I only was, I was driving for five miles, but he was phoning somebody and pointing out and saying, pull over, and I thought, I'd maybe, maybe made a mistake there. And I was only <laughs> meant to be driving, for, and I just drove round and round. And in the end, I drove to a police station and pulled in because I thought, I'm wow. going to get the shit beaten out of me. But I, it's that reaction that I do all the time. And, and Mrs. ADHD goes, well, she is very unhappy when we're in the car. And I'm screaming at somebody, fucking cunt, cutting me up. And, you know, giving yeah. them the... It's not the you the you want to be either, is it? It's no, it is. And, 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 and I, it, I cannot control it. It's, it is, it's, it's completely inappropriate. So in my head, lesson, James, yes. in my head, you read out to him the the the, the, the review of his car from Auto Trader magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Not my words, the words of Auto Trader magazine. <laughs> Worst car in its class. <laughs> right. Where was I? So as a child, <laughs> although I didn't have oppositional defiant disorder, and although I've got to be really fucking careful in the way I say this, um, although nobody that I knew had a diagnosis of ADHD. I definitely grew up knowing somebody who definitely had oppositional defiant disorder and as an adult still has lots of those traits of inappropriate explosions of anger. And um, it, watching it, it, it's quite overpowering when you see somebody like that as an adult. And as a child, it was as well. It was, it was as a child, it, I wouldn't say it was scary, but it, to, to just suddenly go from naught to 100 in terms of an outbreak of anger to something that, that, that wasn't really an issue and being deliberately defiant to the point where an authority figure would ask for something and all you get back is, you know, abu- abuse and anger and, and screaming and physical violence at times so i have seen it first firsthand and it it's i imagine for people children who have it and their parents that it is a particularly difficult thing to cope with because you know unless you're you're taught strategies to deal with it i imagine it's really hard but as i say kind of firsthand i've not really suffered with it what about you alan no it's a good one i thought i did i thought i did uh because i'm a very op- i'm very oppositional <laughs> My wife said, you're not a sheep, you're a wolf, which I took as a compliment, but I don't think she meant it as a compliment. Until I, I saw and, and met uh, children with ODD, it's it's really horrible for them and for the parents because it's not what you want to be like. But I am very oppositional, like you. Road rage, really tough. Trying to make the right decision when angry, really, really hard. 
I immediately say no to any suggestion. Oh, and- fucking tell me about it. Jeez, yeah. any, anything I suggest, even if it's my money, if I say, Alex, I'm going to buy this thing for the charity, you yeah. say, no, I don't, I, I don't know about that. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, no. And I'll say, Alex, it's my money. And you'll say, yeah, no, I, I just, I'm not sure it's, I'm not sure it's everything. Everything I suggest, you immediately say no. I do, because it saves time. Um, <laughs> it, and, and actually, James, it, uh, you, you know as well as I did that some of the things you've suggested have changed my life for the better, and yeah. so it, it isn't it isn't the person I want to be. And, and but it, I think yeah. it's ESD. You know, I think I have yeah. a, inappropriate emotional right now. Of course, I do. We all do. This is these are inappropriate um, uh, emotional reactions. Yeah. Having said that, I also grew up in an ADHD friendly household of uh, sort of hippies in a way. My lovely dad, who hasn't been diagnosed with ADHD. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> always, t- <laughs> always taught us that the so the only laws are the physical laws of the universe. Everything else is just man-made. <laughs> so that's brilliant for learning who you am. But it, but that you know that viewpoint wasn't given the same respect during my trial at Northampton <laughs> Magistrates Court. <laughs> that that isn't true. But what is true is that I don't obey without thinking. I'm not built that way and built by my parents or biology, how do you know? And some people would say that is part of my disorder. I, mm. I wouldn't. So it's, it's a tricky one, but I don't, ADD, I think, isn't me. Yeah. Opposition through emotional sensitive disorder probably is, and my personality. Just for those listening, and I know Alex makes a lot of mistakes, ODD, ODD not, not ADD. ADD is obviously the Americanization of um, inattentive type. ADHD, just to, just to ADD. yeah, and you also, I mean, you said Tim earlier and, and ADD, it's it's just, yeah, you're, you're too big a guy to bring it up though, you've never, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, actually, it, it is beneath me and it shouldn't be, right, so just before we go to the break, we've got a, um, so in the script, it says shit person, shit game, weird, I wonder how, I know, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like somebody changes it after the bits that I've written, have been written out anyway you'll never figure that out mystery i'm starting to get annoyed with the fact that you're getting better at this game you've now got 14 we believe you've got 14 points out of about 27 something like that and that's better than 50 percent. that's not 17 about 27 give or take potato tomato um yeah so the question this week is about something that I did lose because last week I actually uh, it was about my inattentiveness. So as you may be aware, actually, are you aware of this? You know, I smoke and I know that you're unhappy with that. Yeah, and I tried. I tried vaping. You and did. yeah, by the way, kids, again, kids don't smoke. It's not no, big or clever. Genuinely although, stupid. I'm, although I'm six foot two and have a PhD um, and I tried vaping. It just it just doesn't give me that inner peace. So what I bought was a cigarette. Oh, you have seen it actually, a cigarette holder that has a filter in it, which makes me look like a 1920s flapper girl. It does. And, more, more like one. More like one, yeah. More like one. And I recently lost it. And I did a did a reel about this. And the fastest way that you can find something you've lost if you've got ADHD is to buy a replacement. And I shit you not, I, the replacement came, and the next day, Mrs. ADH, she walks up to me and said, what's this? And I went, oh, for fuck's sake. So I've got two of these, two of these now, or have I? So the question is, Al, how many days did it take me to re-lose one of the two cigarette filter flapper girl holders? Was it A, one day? Yeah. Was it two? Four days, mm-hmm. and was it C a week? Okay, so firstly, we've had a complaint from Ash and Maria who told me that it's not fair when it's a numbers one because actually I should be getting a third right. So when I'm getting nearly half, in a way, I'm better than you. <laughs> and, and 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 very so thanks, guys, I appreciate that. And secondly, I'm just going to answer this in one with one key insult. You. <laughs> You can't count to either of the two larger numbers. So it's one. <laughs> it's clearly one though. James? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was too. I think that you, with your strategy of insulting me in, in hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, that was too easy. Yeah, next day. Next day, immediate, immediately. I don't know which one because they're exactly the same item that I re bought from uh, a, a tax dodging uh, company. 
And yeah, a lot. I'd lost the second one within one day. And I just, it, this is the thing that's fucking exhausting about ADHD. Yeah. And this is the thing, obviously, when I, I get annoyed when people say, oh, yeah, well, I do that. <clears throat> and absolutely you do. As, as Alex says, ADHD is an extreme of a, of a mental continuum, like being tall is an extreme of a, of a physical continuum. So, of course, people do forget stuff and, and suddenly yeah, have issues that we have, but not all the time, not all the time. Oh, I, I met I, I, I met I met um, a young friend of mine who is incredible. He's he's got MS and he's also about to get an ADHD diagnosis. And the first time uh, Mrs. ADHD and I met him, we walked away and Sam said he's got ADHD, and I said yeah, he really has, and I love him to bits. And he came back to my we went for a pint yesterday. And he came back to my house and I said we'll go outside because I'll have a fag. It took me four trips to go outside to have all the things that I need to have a fag. And that's the reason that it's so, it, that it annoys me when people say, oh, I do that because no, you, you don't do that continuously throughout the day. You don't put your glasses down in the stupidest of place and then immediately, immediately say, well, hang on, where, where are my glasses? Yeah, 50 to 100 times a day, not just exactly, 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 exactly. So that's the point, isn't it? That's it. It, it is, it is. <clears throat> so, so in a nutshell, James, what you're saying is that I want, yeah, you, yeah, yes, you won, and you've now won. I think four out of the last five. So I've really got to think about this. I mean, I wrote, I wrote this literally before we started recording because I'd forgotten. What, you write. don't prepare for days, people will. I, but I used to, uh, but I used to, and that's the problem. And this is why you're getting better at it. So I need, oh, okay. I need to make it harder. Right on that depressing note, and I'm sure yes. that collect collectively, because most of our listeners, apart from ones that are related to you, really hate you they'll be you know very upset that you've scored another point so on that very depressing note we'll take a break and we'll come back in part three for some top tips bump saying <laughs> two welcome back to Episode 35 of the ADHD adults podcast where we are talking about the childhood disorder Oppositional Defiant Disorder, ODD, and whether it translates into an adult condition. It doesn't medically. Right, part three's top tips. James, what have you got? Now, I, I, honestly, and I, I am quite honest on this podcast, I think. Mm, too honest. I, do, I don't know if you wrote this to make me look stupid and offensive and boorish, or if I wrote it as a laugh and, and then thought I'll take it out and didn't. Because my top tip says don't have ODD. <laughs> which is again about as useful as, as a chocolate teapot or a glass hammer and um, but it does go on to say just be a pathetic yes man doing whatever is clearly out of his league german wife tells him to hi lisa hi, to, to avoid ever being in conflict simple just do that i don't think i wrote that it doesn't <laughs> seem like that i would do but that the, sec would the second bit the dog. second the second bit definitely was me um but yeah i don't i mean the, the key thing is i i don't I think it's really difficult, particularly as, uh, for an adult um, where it's not a recognized disorder, but where we clearly, we, as, as ADHD adults, have traits of ODD. Uh, the thing we, we talk about a lot in, in coaching, et cetera, is stop, think, act, which is so hard when you do this <clears throat> instant um, overreaction or, 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 or outburst. But as much as you can, if it's not face-to-face -face in person, if it's somebody sends you an email and it fucking enrages you, don't respond straight away write down a response and save it in the drafts or delay sending it so you can come back when you've calmed down and look at it. Alex is now, is now kissing the picture of Derek Bowie that's in his background just to fucking wind. See, this is this is evidence, I think, that there is ODT in adults because I just want to rip that round head off your neck. Um, I think you're just having an inappropriate emotional reaction. Very possibly. And what about you, Alex? Uh, from Tip's perspective, it depends, doesn't it? Adults yeah. don't get it, ODD. There are no medications for the ODD set of behaviours. I, mean, I mean, you say adults don't get it. I mean, I, Medically speaking, yeah, they're not diagnosed with it. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, if, if, though, these oppositional defiance behaviours are familiar to you or you as a child and they're negatively affecting you or the people around you, it is something that, that clinical therapy may be able to help you with, Um my favourite top tip for this is, is my book character. So when one way to try and put the brake on my oppositional defiance, especially if it's inappropriate, is to say to myself, "Am I be so a book, James? Is like a TV that you have to do yourself." Yeah. Now, now yeah, I get that bit, but you're not in a book. No, so what is, I, is this what a character I, from? Yeah. yeah. So what I do is what I say to myself, 
when I'm, when I'm reading a book, I think a character I empathize with, would that character do it if I think that character is my hero? If not, if I'm the character of a book, would I do that? Would I get road rage? I've never seen, you know, the cool guy in the books I read get road rage. Ah, you've wanker. They're just, it's not something they would do. So I, I try and say to myself, okay, is that is that the you? It is me, but is it the you that you want to present to the world? Is it the you that you want everyone to see and read about if you were a book character? Or if you like, James, um, you know, a cartoon duck in, in your TV program. <laughs> Is that, is that one of you? Smart out, just blowing smart out of my nose. <laughs> Brilliant. That's one for YouTube later, everybody. It, it is. Um, yeah. So, so I, I say it out loud. I say it out loud. I try and laugh about it. Is that really what um, what my book character would do? Oh, I really wanted you to name a ridiculously kind of um, culturally in, uh, inaccessible book character that Tom. I was just. About, I was literally just about to do that and stop myself. Oh, Jack! I'll do Jack Reacher for you. Is that what Jack Reacher would do? <laughs> Well, well, so what you're saying is that you would say to Spot when it when he's running after the ball, um, or you would say, would Spot from Run, Spot, yeah. Run get angry yeah, running Spot after the ball? Could this be me at yeah. fault? Is would it possible the, that this isn't yes. objective? Yeah. Would, would, um, the, mean, caterpillar, would the caterpillar, when it's very hungry, for example, yeah. you know, and yeah, just getting it's angry? Because, exactly. Would, would, that's would, exactly would it, it. Yeah, so that's that's what you're saying um, in understandable terms to me, obviously, because otherwise it, it just goes straight over my head. Exactly. Um, if I get rage, right. rage, I, would, is this could this be my fault? Uh, until now, it's never been my fault, but you never know. In the future. <laughs> that's not true. It, almost, I would say, ninety percent of the time, it's inappropriate and temporary. Yeah. So it's very useful for so, me, that so, one. So you, you mentioned therapy. Is there any chance you could get therapy specifically to stop you being oppositional when I when I come up with ideas for the, for the charity, which are clearly fucking winners, and I then have to spend three weeks waiting for you to let it seep in before you say, yeah, that's a really good idea. It, the number of times you've texted me with, fuck it, I've done it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> right, product recommendation of the week. What I've got written down... Um, I don't know why it's dildos. I'm guessing that was put there as a placeholder and we haven't taken it out. Yeah, that's I, exactly although, what happened. Although in, in related terms, um, I can't explain why, um, but I Googled the term finger banger. But uh, not like day. not a rude term, right? You didn't. No, you yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's related to a different activity and you get some very interesting photos when you Google, <laughs> Google that term. But if uh, dildos aren't your thing, and, and that you can stop listening then, Alex, there is... Um, and this has been recommended by one of our listeners who messaged me and said they didn't need to be named, but they said there's a free text-to-speech app called, and I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, Balabolka. And it's, 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 rec it's recommended for individuals that just struggle with, with reading information from websites, et cetera, and it, and it reads it out for you. And that is something that a lot of ADHD adults struggle with reading al i've got a reading age of 12 remember which i'm particularly proud of um but if you really struggle with you know just focusing on long emails or, or websites try balabolka and That's b a a b a l a b o l k a yeah yeah balabolka or just yeah i mean google will, will, will rephrase whatever you haphazardly type in as it does for me okay well Thankfully, this painful episode of my life, which is episode 35 of our podcast, is over. In episode 35, we covered ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder. As usual, if you want to get in touch with us to complain about Alex, to give us ideas for a podcast, then get in touch on the socials at ADHD Adult UK, and we will see you next time. Finger banger. <laughs>